What's good, people? JTEC back at you with another video, and today we got the iPhone 12 Pro review. I really like this phone. I actually love this phone. I hope my decision that I'm making, I don't end up regretting, but this phone ain't for me. After having the iPhone 11 Pro Max for an entire year, then going to this phone, I noticed the battery difference immediately. I'm not saying that the battery life is complete trash, but I'm just saying an iPhone 11 Pro Max has the best battery life on any iPhone. I love the design. I love the squared off design, but after holding it in your hand for so long, it's gonna probably get annoying. I don't know if it's just me, but these corner parts got a little bit annoying after so long. So I put a case on and that somewhat takes away when you put the case on, but I'm telling you right now, this is a lot less comfortable to hold at the, after long periods of time. Also, a lot of you on Twitter have asked, oh, when, when are you getting the MagSafe? I'm probably not gonna buy the MagSafe. Why? Because if you kind of think about a MagSafe charger, then you put two and two together, it's kind of pointless 100% when you're just putting something on the back of your phone that you're going to have to take off the back of your phone, meaning you could have just plugged in a charger and just unplugged it. Literally, it's it's pointless. Like, I understand, oh, it's cool, it's a MagSafe. You get a cool animation when you, when you put it on the back. Shut your goddamn ass up! Really? But if you guys really wanted to see the MagSafe charger, I will get it and I will review it. Maybe after I get it in person, maybe I like it more. But from what I've been seeing, it seems pointless to me. The cameras on this thing are all amazing. But I'm going to be honest. A lot of people won't really be saying these things. And this is why I'm making this video. But. All that low light performance that they were talking about that is so improved isn't really that improved in my opinion. When you try to take a really low light picture without a flash on, it's going to look really grainy. It's going to look really noisy. And it's not even going to be that focused on anything that you're taking the picture of depending on the lighting. Majority of people that get better photos are taking a picture with some kind of a light source somewhere in the photo. And that will make the picture look a lot better. But there, if there is no lighting, the photo will come out terribly. When you're in a nice lit up area, the photos and videos turn out great. I really don't genuinely have a lot of negatives about this phone in real life, though. These little things that I nitpick with aren't major issues. If you want the iPhone 12 Pro... I would either go for the Max or I would just get the iPhone 12. You're honestly just wasting money if you go for the Pro. I really don't think it's worth it. Yes, you're getting the stainless steel body, but literally, what is the difference once you put a phone case on? If you're going to wear a phone case anyways, just get the 12, save that little bit of money. Same screen. Ooh, this one gets a little bit brighter. Does that really make a real difference no also if the screen can get brighter that means the phone will die faster which we've seen in battery tests this phone is a really good upgrade if you're coming from anything that's not an iphone 11. but if you got an iphone 11 i would i would honestly just keep it just keep it and get you a squared off case if you want the squared off build. Now, this is for the Apple fanboys that's finna dislike the video because I said negative things about the phone. Fuck you. Oh, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you. I'm an Apple fanboy myself. I couldn't resist getting the newest iPhone. And because I was impatient, I rushed out and got this phone instead of waiting 
the iPhone 12 Pro Max to come out, which a lot of people also, I'm sure, have done as well. Just wait. It's going to be way more worth it when you have the bigger phone in your hand. If you had an 11 Pro Max, do not buy this phone unless you seriously want a smaller phone and you're willing to lose the best battery life ever in an iPhone because you're not going to get that with this phone. You're going to get decent battery life. 5G has been amazing. Not only 5G, but just LTE and signal in general with this device has been a lot better than my 11. That I will say. iPhone 11 had terrible service for me. I'm not sure. It's probably my carrier. I have Sprint. But when I mean I, I lag through everything, it's the second I walked out of my house, unlimited lag. But with this phone here, I have a, it's a breeze just getting through anything. Downloads. When I FaceTime people, it's HD. They literally tell me I've never seen your FaceTime be this clear. And that's, that's not happened now once with my iPhone 11. I also just wanted to point this out also. They have tons of silicone cases out there that don't come with the MagSafe attachment or the magnet. And they don't give you that animation when you put it on. But literally, this is the same exact case that Apple produces. Why would I spend $50 on a phone case so that when I put the phone case on, it can show me an animation of the color? Come on. Like, come on, people. That's what we getting excited about now. A one to two second animation from you putting your phone case on. So you, so people falling for that, spend 10 more dollars for that, and Apple wins. No, sir. Not me. Spent $8 on this one. Think about it. Yeah. I'm not impressed with the MagSafe. I'm not impressed with this phone because it's so similar to the 12. I really can't recommend this phone too much. So, yep. I know you guys are probably expecting me to be super excited about this one, but you can't be excited when it's that similar. If you were, if they were going to make the phone this similar, the only way that I would have been able to silently tell you guys that this phone was way more worth it is if they would have dropped 120 hertz, which they didn't. So, I don't recommend it, people. Just get the 12, deal with the colorful phone, and just call it a day. You're going to, like I said, majority of people put a phone case on anyways. It's not going to be that much of a difference. Just save the money, people. It ain't worth it. What I do love about the phone is the fact that the screen is completely flat and the back is completely flat besides the camera cut out. But the phone is completely flat and I love it. The viewing angles are really good. But those are things that are going to be better on the 12 Pro Max. So pretty much everything that I like about this phone is okay with this phone, but great on the 12 Pro Max. So that, people, is why I'm going to be switching to the 12 Pro Max on the 13th. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to your boy. And until next time, people, we out.